What's up guys, it's PP McGuire here. In typical late fashion, I said I would redo this video and it's what, like a month later? Anyways, I'm here to do the no BS video like I promised, hopefully without any kind of render errors or anything like that. If you actually went through the first video, I do apologize. Um, here again, I stayed up all night and I just decided to do this video. So if I have any mistakes, this is gonna be a no cut issue. I apologize, it's 712. Okay, so the first thing you you will want to do, come to myabandonware.com. You can Google search myabandonware MechWarrior 3 or just come here and then search for the game. You'll come to this site here. Go all the way down. Click the top download box. RIP version 119 megabyte. This, uh, this video will only be for the RIP version, no ISO, no CD, no nothing, just no BS, okay? This will run fine, I've played online with it, not a big deal. Also, you don't need the patch, I'm pretty sure this one is already patched. If you wanna download the patch and you wanna apply it, be my guest, do it before you do anything else, okay? So, after you've done that, come over here to DG Voodoo 2 uh, website, I'll have all these links in the description uh, for your convenience. You'll want this top file over here. So it says minor update. This top file for regular usage. Download that. All right. The next thing you will want to do is come over to this Reddit thread that I will have linked down in the description. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Link to Dropbox right here. Click this and download the file. It's a DLL file you'll need here in a minute. All right. Once you have all that, you will, after you extract your, your My Abandonware game rip, you'll find a folder like this. Come in here. It will say MechWarrior 3 spash, uh, space dash rip. Go ahead and rename that to MechWarrior 3 like I have here. Okay. Come into your computer. Go to your C drive. Make a new folder called MicroPro. So just right click, new folder. There's the spelling right there. Okay. Cut this bad boy, paste it into here. You can ignore this folder for the time being. All right, go into your newly pasted folder. Extract your DG Voodoo 2 install. Go into that folder. Right click this file here. Copy it, paste it into your root directory. You can see it right here for me. After that, go into the MS folder. Copy all three of these DLL files. Paste it into your root directory. You can see them in here. All right. Right click your DG Voodoo. Go to properties, compatibility, run as administrator. Hit apply, hit OK. All right, next thing to do, see this reg setup? Double click it. If it asks for admin, grant it admin. Um, your AV or Windows Defender or anything like that might say this is a bad file. Just ignore it, it's completely fine. This is a no CD crack, so you don't have to have the CD. It just uh, inserts a registry entry or something like that, or edits the EXE. I'm not real sure. Either way, though, it's safe to use. Just apply it. Okay? Now that we're done with that, go to DG Voodoo. Config folder running instance. If you want to learn more about this, watch the first video that I have. I apologize for the audio issues. Okay, Output API, best available one. Adapter to use, use your dedicated graphics card. Scaling mode, just go straight to stretched. Click this enumerate refresh rates but, uh, box here. You'll see what that does here in a second. All right, go all the way to the right and go to DirectX. DG Voodoo Virtual 3D Accelerator card will be default. Just leave it on that. VRAM, go straight to 1024 megabytes. Filtering. Go straight to Force Anisotropic 16x. Okay, these two boxes should be clicked by default. If they're not, go ahead and click them. The next two things: bilinear bit stretch, blitz stretch, and Force VSync. Leave the DG Voodoo watermark on for now. Whenever you get into the game, if everything's working butter, you'll see it down there in the bottom right of your screen. Okay, finally, click on resolution. Your native resolution should be all the way on the bottom of the list. Clicking that enumerate refresh rates box shows you your refresh rates here. What you want is 59 hertz or 60 hertz. Whatever one it shows, just do it, okay? 
If you have a higher refresh rate monitor like I do, I have 144 refresh uh, re, uh, 144 hertz refresh rate monitor right now. You don't want anything higher than 60 hertz. That's going to break the game, and that's been the problem with this thing since past Windows XP days. Okay. So go ahead and click your refresh rate of 59 or 60 hertz with your native resolution. Anti-aliasing. Go ahead and leave it off for now. You can you can mess with it later. If you have a powerful graphics card, you can put it on 8x. Um, you're just gonna have to play with that one for the time being. All right. Hit apply. Hit OK. Boom. Done. The next thing you'll want is. This uh, this DLL that you downloaded from Dropbox, it'll be msvcp50.dll. Just extract that and copy it directly to your root here. And after that, you're done. Yeah, it really is that simple. Okay, now, I will leave a link to our community Discord for MechWarrior 3. We do have regular pilots to play every Sunday. Um, it's been a little lax lately. But if we get more players that are willing to play every Sunday around 2 p.m. ish Central Daylight, um, we will play more. If you want to play with us, come over here to mech3mod.weebly.com slash downloads.html. I will leave that link in the description. What you want is Mech 3 Weapons Mod version 2.47. Top button right here. Download that bad boy. I do know for sure an AV will say this is a bad file. It's completely fine. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Okay, so launch that, accept it, hit next all the way through. Make sure you don't have any errors in the installer. It'll create MechWarrior 3 folder just like this. Go in here, copy all the files that are inside of here. Go back to your install folder and paste them and overwrite all the files. Boom. Now you have the mod. If you come to our community discord, um, you can get our map packs as well. It adds a bunch of extra maps. You can see a couple of them on my YouTube channel um, that we play on multiplayer. What the weapons mod does <clears throat> is it, it gives a whole bunch of different weapons. Um, well, some of them are custom, some of them are not. It changes the pulse lasers and changes a lot of game mechanics and heat management and stuff like that. It also adds a lot of cool extra sound effects that you may not want or may or may not want. Finally, the last thing is don't ask about the music. The music requires the actual physical CD to be in your drive. All I can really recommend there is just go to YouTube and play it in the background. It's just one track or just play whatever your favorite music is in the background. All right, Mech Warriors, happy hunting. Hope this helps you. See ya.